Hey guys, and welcome to my podcast. I'm your host, Sonia, with Sonia's Open Covered, and today we're going to be talking about the feeling of being overwhelmed. This can happen from something good or something bad, and I think it's important to take a minute to talk about it, because everyone's experienced it. So I want to start out with a little story. I was a sixth child out of seven kids, and I love having a family that was that big. I am very grateful to my parents who raised me the way they raised me, um, and part of that was being homeschooled. So being homeschooled, schooling is a little bit more lax. If you're interested in something, that can be a subject. If you have a paper due, there's not necessarily a due date. There is, but sometimes there isn't, depending on the situation. So I was skillful enough and my mom was busy enough that I was able to get by on not writing a lot of papers in high school. It was something that I was terrified of. Everything that had to do with writing, I hated. Like, I can't even explain to you how much anxiety would come with the idea of writing a paper. So I just wasn't the best at it. And when I started college... I kind of had to write papers like and I didn't really realize that like I know it's silly but I just I wasn't thinking I was 18 and I was like oh yeah I'm sure we'll do other things and write papers. No. In college all you do is write papers and read books and I'm extremely thankful for that because it helped me to kind of understand how to handle the feeling of being overwhelmed. So basically I started school and I was like what the heck? I don't like tests, I don't like papers, and this is what they're giving me. (laughs) So I thought I was going to fail. I honestly like had no confidence in myself and I was just hanging on to every single speck of knowledge I could to do it right um, to make sure I did a good job. And it's kind of funny because it turns out that I'm really good at writing papers and I had no idea. For so long, I had let the feeling of being overwhelmed by something stop me from ever trying to do it. So all these years, I was terrified of papers. Like, I wasn't scared to take tests or anything. It's just papers. And I had built this up in my mind that, like, oh, I can't do that. That is too big for me to accomplish. And I get into college and, okay, you have 10 papers due in two months. Go. (laughs) So... It really helped to wake me up and to understand how to handle the feeling of being overwhelmed um, because it proved to me that you can do it because you believe you can do it and also it takes a lot of work to get there. And of course today there's still things in my life that scare the heck out of me like this podcast for one. Two weeks ago I was terrified of it and I let myself take a whole month just to like set up my stuff and just actually sit down and do it. It was just that feeling of being so overwhelmed by a project or an act or something I had to do that like I didn't want to start it and I don't I wasn't going to start it. I was like convincing myself like oh Sonia you know this is just this just obviously isn't for you. Let's just stop and then I took a step back and I put in some of these steps that I'm going to explain to you in a minute, and I started my podcast, and here I am. I'm extremely thankful for stepping out there and actually trying and actually overcoming that feeling of being overwhelmed by something that I didn't need to be overwhelmed by. So now you know I had a general fear of papers, and I had a general fear of speaking. And two of my favorite things to do today are to write and to speak. So let's get into how to make the feeling of overwhelmed a lot less scary. First of all, no matter what you do, you're always going to have that initial feeling of being overwhelmed. It's just natural. Um, And that's okay. Like if you feel overwhelmed by something, that's not something that you should be scared of or feel like, oh, I'm such a failure because I feel that. I feel that every day. And these are just steps that have helped me to overcome that feeling whenever it comes on. And sometimes it takes longer than others. And sometimes the thing is a lot scarier than other things or seems a lot bigger. And 
as long as you keep working towards your goals and prove to yourself that you don't have to be ruled by the feeling of being overwhelmed, you'll do just fine. So my first tip is to start setting obtainable goals. Like for the papers, I had a ton of papers due the whole semester and like they give you the syllabus and you can look at it and I was looking at it and I was like, oh my gosh, they expect me to do all this in 16 weeks. I don't understand how. But I started to break it down. I was like, okay, well, Sonia, look at this two weeks at a time. The first week, I'm going to learn about how to write this. And the next week, I'm going to write it. And so on and so forth. So I started to set these little goals like, okay, well, Sonia, if you do this, like, you only have this step to do. And before I knew it, like, I was done with the whole year. And I had gotten A's in almost all of, of my papers. And I had to take a step back and was like, what did I just do? Like, how did I just do it? And a big part of it was to set obtainable goals. Like you can't, you can't sit there and overwhelm yourself. Like if you just start thinking about, oh, I have like this, 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 and just like go through the whole entire list of what you have to do, that's just going to make you crazy. Like you have to start looking at things on a smaller scale, even if there's a lot to do, like you just got to break it down. So as long as you're breaking it down into smaller segments and setting obtainable goals, you're already on your path to success. My next tip is to show yourself some grace. Um, My first year of college, even though I did really well, I left no room for mistakes. Like, and I did really well. I got, I think I got straight A's. Like, I think I had two B's like the whole entire year. Um, But it's because I was putting so much pressure on myself and I was so scared to mess up that I didn't mess up. But the thing is, I had no social life. Uh, My relationship with my now husband was dwindling and I was so unstable and emotional that it was just way too much. Like I was just putting so much pressure on myself to um, do all these things and make sure they were perfect. I was like crumbling under the pressure. So even though um, that feeling of being overwhelmed from the papers was gone because I knew I could do it, the overwhelming feeling from the pressure I was putting on myself was replacing it. It was even bigger than the overwhelming feeling of having to do all these papers. And it's something I have to remember today is And it's something I have to remember today is to always show yourself grace. Because without grace, we are literally nothing. So why not stop and show yourself a little bit of grace? If the house is a mess, oh well. If the paper's not great, but you have to submit it, oh well. These are little insignificant things in life. You gotta enjoy the messy house because your kids are there. You have to enjoy the stressful night because... Throughout the whole semester, you grew so much and you did so well. It's those things that like when you put everything into perspective, you start to feel the weight come off and you start to realize that God has really carried you through this whole time and that you should be extremely thankful and just rejoicing that you've gotten through it, that you have what you have, where you are, where you are. It's just really important in every aspect of life to just give yourself some grace and to remember, I can make a mistake, but I'm not going to make that mistake define me. The third thing I want to talk about is patience. Because these things don't happen overnight. You're not going to be organized overnight. You're not going to be a great writer overnight. Like within the first year of college, I became so much better at writing. But from that first year of college to me now, I think, what, five years later, I'm so much better. And I look at my writing and I'm like, it really could use some work. And that's just part of life. Like, it's something that we really forget to do because it's hard to have patience especially in a world where everything is literally within reach. Like television, food, games, anything. Like it's it's there. It's waiting for you. And the longest you usually have to wait is 15 minutes. <laughs> That's about it. Like 
so it's hard to be patient, especially when it comes to personal things that you're trying to work on and that feeling of being overwhelmed. Like you just want it to be gone immediately, but it takes time and it takes concentrated effort. So that's what a lot of people have a hard time like understanding is that when you want to change something about the way your life is going or how you're responding to something, it takes time to do that. Like just like learning an instrument or a new language, you're not going to learn it overnight. But as long as you're patient, you will learn it. Like it will come to you naturally. And those feelings of being overwhelmed, whenever they come, you'll start to handle them better and better. And that's just something I want to remind you guys of today is that like when you feel overwhelmed by life, don't ever give up. Like there's always something more to the story. Like just take a step back and like I said, set obtainable goals and start small. Be patient with yourself and show yourself some grace because, you know, those are the things that consume our mind usually they're the things that aren't most important and that's something that I want to be consciously aware of throughout my whole life and I want to keep getting better at it because I remember there were so many days of that first year of college where I didn't talk to anyone I didn't enjoy the time I was awake from the time I was asleep. I didn't have good rest. I didn't have good time with the Lord. I just, I was consumed by the feeling of being overwhelmed. So today I want to encourage you, if you're feeling overwhelmed, take a step back, take a little breather, (laughs) set some goals, show some patience, give out some grace. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and have a good one.